the banker burnout conversation is still front and centre for many. After complaints from junior bankers at Goldman Sachs made the rounds on social media earlier this year, JP Morgan is now the latest firm to take action. Danny Berger joins us with a look at some of the latest news lines, some of the latest detail. And Danny, what have we heard recently then from Wall Street? Anna, there are a couple different models that various lenders are taking. And I should say it really is encouraging that we've heard from multiple banks. You'll recall this isn't a new conversation, the well-being of especially junior your bankers has come up before, uh, but could this actually be the start of real changes? JP Morgan saying that they're going to hire 190 bankers to help deal with the workload that bankers are taking on and hopefully help to deal with burnout. So that's one type of action we're seeing, hiring more people, easing the workload. Another one, of course, is different perks, be it a fruit basket from Goldman Sachs or a Peloton from Jefferies. Now, the other way that we've seen some banks try to combat this is simply just pay bankers more. Uh, we heard from Bank of America a couple weeks ago who's doing this, a bonus for their bankers. Uh, according to Financial News, just reporting that UBS also looking at doing a similar financial compensation. Uh, but we should make this clear. It's not just about junior bankers. It's bankers as a whole and really everybody as they deal with the workload during the COVID-19 uh, pandemic where people are working from home and working more frequently. With that in mind, a LinkedIn post went more or less viral of an HSBC uh, IT regulatory worker uh, who had a heart attack and he says the first thing he thought of was I need to meet with my manager tomorrow this isn't convenient uh, that really caught fire about 8 million people viewing it on LinkedIn uh, and HSBC uh, responding here saying that the response to this topic shows how much this is on people's minds and we are encouraging everyone to make their health and well-being a top priority. So, Anna, I think it's fair to say across the board, this is a conversation that probably needed to be had a long time ago, but now we're finally seeing responses from employers. Yeah, and the HSBC employee that you referenced certainly suggesting this is b broader than his business, mm. sort of calling out the entire sector for, for the culture that exists that does seem to, and this is anecdotal total perhaps only, but does seem to have led many people to work those longer hours as they've been working from home and find it more and more difficult to draw that line between the workplace and home life. Danny, thanks very much for uh, ongoing coverage of that story. As Danny says, not new, uh, but it keeps evolving.